there's a lot of traffic out there. I don't have a set list, I just sort of play what I feel, so here we go. So I moved to Rhode Island. This is going to have no chronological order. So. Um, so I moved to Rhode Island. I was living out there um, for three years. And um, I had a nice little apartment. I got really lucky. And I um, had a nice little apartment on the beach in this little town called Tiverton, which you've probably never heard of. But apparently, uh, like three days before I left, I learned that it uh, has one of the top five sunsets by National Geographic. So I highly recommend going there. So I experienced this like within the first five days of my moving there. And um, I see this light come through the window and I'm like, what's going on? This is crazy. And um, it was one of those sunsets you go out. I, I, I went out and I go to the road and everybody stopped. Like all the drivers stopped, get out of the car, taking pictures. Somehow there's professional photographers there. I don't know how that happened. Um, but they just got out and the whole world stopped for like 15 minutes in this little town. And uh, it inspired me to write uh, that folk song, Edna May. And Edna May is a lobster boat that is that was docked right out across from my apartment. So. All right, thank you. Now, is, is that mix in the mind okay for you? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think it's good. You can hear both guitar and voice. Uh, maybe the guitar could go up just a tad. Okay. Maybe. I appreciate it. Uh, I want to thank Barry uh, and uh, everybody here. Uh, Paul, we've had conversations before because I also lived here uh, a long time ago. And uh, my new friend Jim, who's going to help me uh, propel my voice tonight. Okay, so this next song, it's um, I wrote this song about six, mm, less than six months ago. Uh, it's called Merry Go Round. I can't dream of you 
songs have come to me, um, I'll either think about them for a really long time and then somehow they come out or I will write them within like 20 seconds or, or actually 20 seconds, 20 minutes and it just like pours out onto the paper. Um, just a wonderful thing and I'm really enjoying it. So. Um, this next song, yeah I'm going to play it. Um, this next song I wrote, um, it was one of those type of songs that I wrote in like five minutes and it just poured out of me. And uh, I was actually just in my aunt's cottage house in the Poconos, just kind of sitting there alone one morning, and it just came out. And uh, it's called Happy Birthday.
So this is a little out of season, but a friend of mine who, uh, all right, I'll tell this story. So uh, a good friend of mine who's somewhere in the audience tonight, um, he, uh, he challenged me. He was like, Darian, you know, we play baseball together. So he's like, Darian, you have to write a song that's about what you love, right? You got to write a baseball song. And I'm like, you know, it's funny you mentioned that, JC. I, um, you know, I've been thinking about writing a baseball song, but I didn't know how to do it, so now you push me towards that. So uh, this next song um, is called Coming Back Home. This new EP and um, it had uh, it has uh, Merry Go Round on it, it has Coming Back Home, um, and uh, I'm gonna this next song I'm gonna play. Um, I wrote with uh, I got a chance, <coughs> like a dream come true, to play with the lead singer of my favorite band in the last couple of years. Um, I had this song that I'm gonna play for you stuck in my head for ten years, and. Um, I tried playing it in Albany, New York, up the Hudson, and at that time it didn't work. And I was like, okay, why doesn't this work? So I was a little bit afraid of it for a while. And then, um, and then I got presented with this opportunity to write uh, with uh, now my friend Danny, um, who uh, is the lead singer of this band called Stars on 45. If you've never heard of them, you have, because you've been maybe to Target, and they're always playing up on the Target radio station. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So he uh, he basically like just gave me the confidence to like move certain things around with it, and the rest of it just came out. So uh, here it is. It's called uh, Serve Your Life. Father, 
Two more. Okay, two short ones. Okay. <laughs> or one long one. <laughs> so, uh, just for my mom not flying tonight. I don't know. Thanks, Cool. Thank you so much, Barry. I uh, just want to thank everybody again uh, for coming out in the rain. I'm glad it was rain today. Um, and uh, thanks for sticking around. Um, this is great what you do, Barry. Um, you know, to contribute to music programs and music education and to just fuel the arts, I think is extremely important um, for our community. So good job. And I'm glad, I'm so happy to support it and be supported by it. So thank you.
for the kiddies. The kiddies call it the monkey song. The grown-ups call it um, another type of song.